I'm Carl. I'm Dave. And this is Beast Made Reviews. Hey guys, Carl here from Beast Made Reviews. Now, it's a little bit of a running joke around my house that I have a lot of sunglasses. I love sunglasses. They make you look cool. You can put ones on that are a little more serious, ones that are a little bit more retro, some that are a little more fun. And most of the time I would buy, you know, Ray-Bans, a $100 pair of glasses, and occasionally the pair of gas station sunglasses that you buy for 10 bucks and you don't care if they get scratched or dented or if you lose them, you can leave them in the car. That kind of thing. Well, it wasn't until recently that I had a chance to check out the upper tier, some of the highest quality optics I could find. So I went searching, and the company that I came across that I really liked was Salt Optics. And Salt Optics was founded in 2006 in California, and they specialize in Japanese handcrafted sunglasses. Most of these sunglasses take their cues and their inspiration from nature, so you find a lot of greens and blacks and browns. Now they do have a couple of models that are a little bit more reserved, and the ones that I picked out are these right here. These are called the Pickford, and they have everything you would ever want in a nice pair of sunglasses. They're polarized, but one of the things that I think is really hard to quantify is the feel you get from these. Whatever they're using for the, the frame material, for the, for the lenses. As small as these sunglasses are, they have a nice weight to them. The kind of weight that when you hold it, you instantly know you're holding something that's very well made. And the hinges on it are perfect. Not too much tension, not too little tension. They don't, there's no wobble, there's no shifting in them. They're just beautifully made. The way you can tell when you hold a nice knife or you hold a nice firearm that was just meticulously crafted, the same feeling you get when you hold something that's really well made like that, I get with these right here. Now, without getting too political, Luxottica owns 90% of the companies out there that you would buy sunglasses from. They own Oakley, they own Ray-Ban, they own Persol at this point, unfortunately. When it comes to independent eyewear, there's not a lot of companies out there that are offering their own brand, which aren't under the umbrella of Luxottica. Luxottica has done a couple of good things. They really took Ray-Ban from being a crummy gas station type of sunglass to a much better and more refined product that being said, I'm not a big fan of monopolies or, or what's very close to a monopoly because they really set the price. And what used to be a $25 pair of sunglasses now is a $125 pair of sunglasses because you really have no other option. Well, it's companies like this, independent companies that are doing things so well that I choose to support. So Salt Optics philosophy is simple things made well. And I think that is at the heart of anything we're trying to review here is make it as high quality as you can without getting too crazy and, and overboard. Nobody's gonna pay $1,500 for a pair of sunglasses, at least nobody who I know. These are a little bit more affordable than that. Yes, they are more expensive than a typical Ray-Ban or Persol or Oakley. They are about $400, give or take. What you'll notice if you pick up a really nice pair of sunglasses is you will take care of them. You will keep them in the case. You will keep them safe from people sitting on them in your car. These aren't gonna be the ones that you're gonna take on on a jet ski or on a boat or any place that they could get lost. These are gonna be your nice pair of sunglasses. Just like if you buy a nice pair of shoes, you're gonna take care of them, you're gonna keep them stored where they should be stored, and you're, you're gonna get the life out of that product. These are very much the same way. They are an investment piece. But that being said, we're talking about some of the most high quality optics available here. And they're always changing up and coming up with new designs. I really have fallen in love with these, these glasses. I hope to get myself another pair at some point. Again, they're, they're a little bit on the more expensive side. $400 is no small chunk of change. That's You could buy a lot of things with $400, I understand that. So as far as value goes, I would say it's a little subjective. Some people are gonna think it's a great price for a handmade product out of this quality of materials. Others are gonna say, $400 for a pair of sunglasses? I can go down to the grocery store and get a pair for $10. The other con is that you're gonna have a hard time finding these. These aren't really, you can't order these online. You have to find a retailer. And in Connecticut, where I live, there's only one. And luckily, they happen to be in the next town over, but there's only one retailer in West Hartford where I can buy these. They are a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. I know that the secondhand market is, is kind of weak. There's not many on eBay. And if there are, you have to be really careful because, again, you don't know if they fit your face shape, what condition they're actually in, all of the typical stuff that goes with eBay. Even the case these things come in is absolutely gorgeous and just so well made in it. I mean, you can't even, you can't even bend that. Look at that. It, it, it's, it's held shut with a magnet. I just... I may sound like a little bit of a fanboy, but I think these are some of the best sunglasses out there. So there you go, Salt Optics. If you're after an investment pair of sunglasses and you like their style, I would not hesitate to point you in their direction. Really phenomenal product. 
So if this strikes your fancy, check them out. I'm Carl with Beast Made Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Do you think these things suck? Would you ever pay $400 for a pair of sunglasses? If you wouldn't, or if you would, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one.